when I hear trending, I think it's, oh, it's something originated on Twitter. Wow. You just uh, opened my mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Do you use Twitter? I do not, actually. Have you never have? I had have one. You, have you? Uh, I think it was for college. And <laughs> okay. then when I went to uh, this programming boot camp. And then I stopped using it. Did I just don't see the appeal of Twitter. Honestly, I don't either. I mean, well, I mean, I do and I don't. Um, I think with Twitter, you need like really strong opinions on things. You I need to know. have. Yeah, I, I agree. I think you need to be e either be very strongly opinionated about whatever topic um, but I feel like you also need to have a, a big following because otherwise, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like the tweet or comment gets lost. Like I, I know, I know people have friends that have Twitters and they tweet a lot and they always get like two likes, three likes. Yeah, it's um, just. Or they share things and I'm like, okay, you've been tweeting for years and years and you don't have any popularity. So what's the point? <laughs> Dang. <of that? laughs> I don't mean to to be mean, but it's like, like at what point do you decide it, that that it's enough that you're not going anywhere with it? Like, do you make money off of Twitter? Can people make money off of Twitter? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think, like, the only reference I know is that Kim Kardashian. Can't believe we used her name on this podcast. <laughs> Guess we can use the Kim Kardashian hashtag, right? That's right. Anyway, um, big booty. <laughs> she just has to mention something, a product, um, and then she gets money. That's it. Okay, but so that, but that's a, that's a sponsor. It's not necessarily like Twitter paying you. It's more like the company. And that's pays what I'm thinking. It's with Twitter. Company. I think that's how it is on Twitter. Okay. And I mean, I'm not saying that that's not how it is in other places. I mean, YouTube works the same way. Uh, if there's any sponsors out there that would like to uh, sponsor us, uh, we're happy to use your products. Yes. Uh, we got G Fuel. Mm, Energize like your that. mind for that's gamers. so delicious. I've never drank it before. But yeah, it's so delicious. It's so good. It really is, actually. I do like G Fuel. Not a sponsor, but happy to be. <laughs> um yeah, I, I, but that's the thing, though. It's like if you're a celebrity or a politician, uh, then, yeah, people follow you and then they'll they'll listen to whatever you have to say on your tweets. And it, it, sure, but if you're just any other person, like how do you get the following? Like do you just need to fall into um, wh what is it like the – what's the term? Is it herd thinking? Herd oh. information. Uh, uh, herd mentality. Herd mentality. Yeah. So do you do you need to create that bubble or do you need to jump into it? You know, like, and, and then like, is that how you get popular on Twitter? Is that how your your tweet counts? I don't know. It's just Twitter is so bizarre to me. Yeah. I, because I don't understand. There's a lot of information there, and people go to it. But it's also very controversial. It's where it's like it feels like a like a fight pit. <laughs> Twitter. It, Instead of gloves, you just use 120 characters. <laughs> I feel like that's like the only place like celebrities actually say stuff. I guess I like, sort of Instagram. Yeah, I, 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 well, but I'm a, I'm an avid Instagram user, so I feel like I see more of it on Instagram. But then mm. again, on Reddit, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, you always see screenshots, screenshots of uh, tweets. Or so really apologies. The, I think if it's the, an apology, then it's on Instagram, because <laughs> then they have more longer than 120 characters. Yeah, and so it's like. Twitter really does seem to be like a source of a lot of information. Uh, and with how weird that 
app is and how long it's been living. Because uh, when, when did Twitter come out? Oh, I don't know. That's way back. Yeah, that's a long time ago. 2006. Twitter. Okay, well, you're a lot quicker than me. <laughs> uh, 2006. So it's been, what, 16 years? Yeah, that's a uh, long time. 16 years. And funny enough, just barely have they announced that they're working on an edit button. Wow. And I think it's funny because I, I don't think this is a I don't think this is actually related, at least not the way we think it is. Hmm. Um, but Elon Musk just purchased like nine percent of Twitter shares, so now he's become like the largest. Uh, shareholder of the company uh and you know how elon musk is i mean we do get a lot of elon musk tweets uh that's how we got a lot of his information um and then they talk about an edit button like shortly after he purchases uh nine percent of the company he's getting sued by twitter oh he is apparently yeah where did you see this over uh, late disclosure for profiting off his failure to notify financial regulators of his stake in the company. Wait, so this is when did this happen today? Uh, yesterday, apparently. On the 12th. Because, yeah, the edit button was uh, published on April 6th. That's when they said, like, hey, we're working on the edit button. And now he's being sued. That's By horrible. Twitter. <laughs> that is really Oh, funny. my God. Well, Twitter investors, not Twitter itself. Oh, still. That's so funny. But how do you, what do you feel? How do you feel about Twitter having an edit button? I mean, uh, like I was saying earlier, like, they come out with features that already exist on other platforms so i don't know what the big deal is i guess the big deal is i don't know i don't know what the big deal is <laughs> so here's here's my take on it i feel like twitter is has worked the way it has because it's like it's solidified right you like snapchat post, like you yeah you post a tweet and it's that's it yeah. So what you say is what you say, and that's it. Um, I feel like the ed edit button is a little bit dangerous because it's so overpowered by celebrities and politicians, like powerful people. Mm. And so who's to say that they're not going to go and say something like, I don't know, hey, I'm all for, you know, Baskin Robbins. Like, I love Baskin Robbins. And then everybody starts, like, liking it and retweeting and answering and commenting. I love it, too. It's my favorite. I can't live without it. Blah, 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 blah. And then he gets, like, the, this person would get, like, a thousand comments or whatever. And then he changes the tweet to say something like, I like, I don't know, hot dogs. <laughs> As an example. I mean, I'm being, I'm giving a mild example. Right. But, like, if you give them that power to change the tweet and you have no way of seeing what they said before, then the, they can manipulate uh, the information source. And I think that's what the dangerous part of a tweet is. I would think that they're going to have, like, an edit history. They would have to have an edit history. On right. And, and I think that is, that's one of the things that I'd say, okay, yeah, I... I, I I'm not against the edit button, but I think it's important to be very transparent as to what they edited. Yeah. I think so, it would actually make it worse for some people. Like they post something uh, maybe insensitive and then they edit it. And then it's just going to amplify their insensitivity if they take something out. Right. But I don't know. I mean, if they're going to, if uh, I don't think it exists right now, I think it's still kind of like something they're st just still working on. But if they do it, I hope, I hope that there's a, a big 
sign that says this tweet has been edited and I hope that there's a way to still look at the original tweet so that you can compare and then see like, okay, well, was this a typo? Did he correct something that he typed? Or is it a completely different tweet? You know, like, uh, I think that's the, the important thing to keep in mind. It's going to be like YouTube where they have a comment and then get a bunch of likes and comments on it, right? And then they change it. And then they change it. And they're saying, oh, I changed the comments, so now you don't know why people liked and commented on this. And you're like, yeah, no. it's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's super annoying to see that on, on YouTube. And I've seen it on Reddit, but on Reddit, it's different. On Reddit, it's usually the post says, uh, comment something, and then... Uh, and below, it says the, edit, the, right? The, well, yeah, but the job, the joke of the post is that you will switch the comment to make the reply seem funnier. But it's like it's done on purpose I and see. and it makes sense. But on YouTube. Do they force know. you? I'm not sure on Reddit. Do they force you to state that there was an edit? No. No. Oh, so people just do it out of. For. Uh, convenience usually they post something and say edit and then typo or something that changed a word or something like that yeah it's like a it's like a reddit thing <laughs> i feel like interesting it's it's a way of saying like oh look at me i edited because there's a typo and i'm letting you know so i'm a good person i don't know it's funny it's but funny because no. I've, I've used reddit for years and i've never i don't have an account so i've never understood the etiquette of posting on Reddit. I, I just see it. I've never commented like that before. I, or at least I don't think I have. Hmm. But it's funny because I kind of expect it. There's certain comments that are so Reddit that I know what they're going to say based on the post. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting. But, uh, but you don't get that from Twitter. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, Twitter. It's like, why does it even exist? <laughs> wow. He even, wow, Elon even declined the invitation to join Twitter's board. Oh, yeah. He was invited to do it, and then he declined it. Interesting. He's such a, he's a, he's a weird person. Weird Sometimes in a good I, way, I think. Well, yeah, I, well, I, I don't know, though. That's the thing is, like, there's things that he says that I I agree with, and I like that he does the things that he does. But sometimes he also says things and does things that I'm just like, what? Why? <laughs> like, they're, they seem a little out of place. Like, I don't know. He's just a very eccentric person, and I don't know. I feel like I like him 80% of the time, but there there are times when I'm like, man, he's such a idiot. I usually don't really pay attention to what he says. More of what he's brought out product-wise. I mean, I guess I knew that he smoked weed on like the Oh, Joe <laughs> Rogan. Joe Rogan podcast, but that's that's about it. Huh. But yeah, Twitter. Weird place.